Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to add thoughts together. Don't forget to like, comment and share to other people. We have six problems here. How can we add thoughts together? You should know that you can only add similar thoughts. And what are similar thoughts? Thoughts are said to be similar if and only if all the terms contain what? the same number under their radicals. For example, number one, you see we have square root of two, square root of two, square root of two. So we say that these are what similar sorts. And again, why do I say addition? I didn't mention subtraction because three minus two is the same thing as three plus negative two. So we always have that plus in between terms. So we are adding literally again you can see only the first one can be called a similar sort what about this ones and how can we convert them into similar sorts we are coming let us add the first one first um whenever you have similar sorts it's always very simple just pay attention to the coefficients just add them two plus six is eight and eight take away three is what Eight sec away three is five. Then you bring back your uh, square root, square root of two. And you can also look at the square roots as a variable like x. Two x plus six x is eight x. Take away three x is five x. Where x you know naturally is what? Square root of two. Another way, you can look at these square roots as a fruit like an apple. Two apples plus six apples eight apples take away three apples is five apples but in this case where you have different sorts you have to convert them into similar sort for example uh, number two here where we have um, two times the square root of two then plus the square root of 18 because two here is the smallest prime number you can no longer break it down so you can pay attention to the other square root. Make sure that you have two here since you have two here. Yes. So two times nine is 18. So you can convert this into two times nine. Or nine times two, all the same. Then whenever you have a square root of product, you can split the square roots. Just like two times square root of two, then plus Square root of nine separately times square root of two. This is always the same thing as this. But we know that square root of nine is three. So you have two times square root of two plus three, which is the square root of nine times square root of two. Now you can see we have similar sorts. If you add them together, you have five root two. Yes. Number three. Number three, we have square root of 27, square root of 48, three times square root of three. Three is the smallest prime number here. So we can break these two numbers into a term in terms of three and make sure that the other number is always a perfect square number. Otherwise you cannot add them. So 27 can be written as three multiplied by nine. And that nine, you can see it is a perfect square number. So you can write square root of 27 as square root of nine multiplied by three plus square root of 48 is the same thing as square root of 16 times three. 16 is also a perfect square number. 16 multiplied by three. Then lastly, minus square root of oh, three times square root of three. Just the way we splitted this uh, square root you can do the same thing here but I am going to do that mentally you know this is square root of 9 times 3 square root of 9 is 3 so it's like having 3 root 3 here so this is 3 root 3 this is 4 root 3 because square root of 16 is 4 then minus 3 root 3 so now you can see we have a similar sort 3 apples plus 4 apples making 7 apples Take away three apples. So this and this are the same. So this and this will cancel. We only have uh, four root three. So the answer 
So this problem is four times square root of three. That is for number three. Now let us move on to number four. We have square root of eight, square root of 218. Um, all right, this time around you can see that all the numbers are different and none of these are prime numbers. So we have to reduce it down. We have to take a prime number times a perfect square number that can give us this. But make sure that that perfect square number, you take the bigger one, if there are many. So I know that two times four is eight. So I have two, two times 100, two times nine. Yeah, something like that. So we have nine multiple, no, the first one is four multiplied by two. The second one is 100 multiplied by two. And the last one is nine multiplied by two. Square root of four is two. So you bring the two outside, you still have square root of two. Square root of 100 is 10. 10, but you still have square root of two. Then minus square root of nine is three. You still have square root of two. Now you can simply add them because this is a similar sort. Two, 12, nine, right? Two apples, 10 apples, 12 apples. Take away three apples, you have nine apples. As simple as that. Then number five, number five, 32 and 18, how can we change them so that we have, yeah, 16 times two, nine times two. 16 times two is 32, and the nine times two is 18. Square root of 16 is four times square root of two. Square root of nine is three times square root of two. Now we have a similar sort, and this is equal to seven times square root of two. Four apples, three apples, making seven apples. And the last one, all right, I can do that mentally if I so wish, because I know that this is 20, no, five times four, because I have five here. So I want to make sure that I have five here. Five times four, four is also a perfect square number. So let me just write this seven root five plus two times square root of five times four. Square root of four is two. As that two comes outside, it has to multiply this two, making four. So this is just plus four root five. Then we still have several root five here. All together, you have 11 of them. Seven apples, four apples, 11 apples. This is how to add sorts together.